ladies and gentlemen thank you very much uh, for following the channel and uh, following the updates that we bring you on this channel we are trying as much as we can to keep you updated on the events that are happening around uganda uh, post post sham election as we speak today Museveni is the first person who has organized a rigged election and actually lost it because there are so many things that he has failed to answer and what he has decided to do is he, to ram himself uh, through, uh, through, through, through the entire electoral process and declare himself uh, with fabricated results. When you try to ask many questions, uh, these people do not have answers. There is no one you can ask these questions. They all just run away and keep quiet. We keep asking where did these people actually get the results. They don't have an answer to all those questions. Uh, there is no one that you can contact in the Electoral Commission. There is no one you can contact, you know, anywhere to ask these questions. But the, all these things were actually expected. And that's why Bobby Wine actually ran this campaign in order to expose Museveni and his cronies, as you have seen. All of a sudden now, the entire world knows uh, who Museveni really is, uh, what he has been doing. And also the entire world knows uh, the plight of Bobby Wine and the plight of the people of Uganda in the fight uh, for democracy, in the fight for the rule of law and justice. Now, there are some things I've been, uh, you know, taking a look at. This something that I talked about yesterday that did not add up according to my own observations and my own investigations. And uh, when I spoke about that, th when I spoke about that thing yesterday briefly, uh, most of you actually asked me to come and, you know, push it out in a much more clearer way uh, than the way I put it out. C clearly that most of you actually wanted me to, you know, explain more on what I was trying to mean. Uh, my observations, some of you might agree, some of you might disagree, but definitely I believe that uh, I am right on this. I would like to know your, uh, your, your comments on the matter, and uh, you can just uh, drop the comments down in the section below so i'll make this quick i'll just share my screen over here and i show you what i'm trying to mean now the figures that you see on the screen over there those figures are figures of uh, elections uh, in terms of elections and how ugandans have been voting uh you know in previous in, in the previous elections in you know the, the way numbers have been increasing and decreasing and things of that sort so far, since Museveni came to power in 1986, we have had six presidential elections. We had the presidential election from 1986 to 2021, the previous one that has just ended, that has exposed Museveni all of a sudden. Now, I've uh, tabulated this uh, data here to show you uh, the number of registered voters, the number of new voters, the turnout, and the difference between the turnouts in different years. And uh, the reason as to why I'm showing you all this is to show you that actually things do not add up and things do not actually make sense, uh, you know, given the current situation we are in and how Bobby Wine ran his campaign. Now, if you look at to 1996, we had uh, 8.4 8 eight million four hundred and ninety two thousand one hundred and fifty four voters and the new voters during that year was eight million four hundred and ninety two thousand one hundred and fifty four because that was the first year that we began uh choosing presidents you know the first year of presidential elections in uganda under um, 70. now the turnout during that year was six million and hundred and sixty three thousand six hundred and seventy eight voters that turned out to vote that is one of the highest actually which if it's not the highest it's the highest uh number of turnout that we have ever had in our election just under two million people did not turn out to vote uh, during that election so of course here having a difference we cannot compare it with any other year but that's why i would leave that space blank over there now when you go to 2001 we had 10 million seven hundred and seven thousand seven hundred and seventy five thousand eight hundred and thirty voters and out of those voters we shall try to not try but we shall uh, subtract the number of two th voters in 2001 as well as the number of voters in 1986 and when you get the difference between these two figures it gives you the number of voters for that particular year so the number of voters for the number of new voters in 2001 is 2 million 280 3,682,000 voters. So those were the new voters in 2001 from the previous voters in 1986. Now, the turnout was 7,576,144 voters that turned out to vote, meaning that the number of voters in 1996 and the number of voters in 2001 increased. But we have to know it increased by what figure. So it increased 
by a hundred and forty thousand one million four hundred and twelve thousand four hundred and four hundred and sixty six voters so it means uh one million four hundred and twelve thousand uh four four hundred and one million uh four hundred and twelve thousand four hundred and sixty six voters more voted in two thousand and one now we come to two thousand and six okay the number of voters that year decreased it was ten million four hundred and fifty thousand seven hundred and eighty eight the number of registered voters compared to two thousand and one whereby it was ten million seven hundred and seventy five thousand eight hundred and thirty six voters so what this means is this that it decreased but by what figure so it decreased by three hundred and twenty five thousand uh, and forty eight voters and when we look at the turnout also the turnout decreased in two thousand and six of course, this is attributed to so many factors. Now, in uh, 2006, the number of people who came to vote was 7,230,456 voters, meaning that uh, 345,688 people less actually voted in 2006 compared uh, to 2001 which was really, 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 really a low turnout of people compared to the number of people who were registered and compared to the previous year in 2001. Move forward on 2011, the number of voters increased, which was 13,954,129 people that, turned, that were registered to vote. Out of those people, if you get the difference between 2006 and, uh, sorry, between uh, 2011 and 2006, it means that 3 million, uh, 3.5 million, 3,000 three hundred and forty one people were new voters were registered now the turnout the number of people who came out to actually vote was eight million two hundred and seventy two thousand uh, seven hundred and sixty voters meaning that the difference between the number of people who voted uh, in uh, 2011 and 2006 increased by one million uh, forty two thousand three hundred and four uh, voters so one million more people voted compared to the previous election 2016, uh, 15 million voters, 15 million 277,198 uh, voters registered to vote. And out of those, if you get the difference between uh, 2016 and 2011, uh, you will find that 1,323,069 people re more registered to vote in the elections. Now, in those elections, the turnout was 10,329,131 voters who turned out to vote. Now, when you look at the figure of the people who turned out to vote in 2016, and uh, you find the difference, how many more how many more people actually registered, how many more people voted, meaning that the number of people who voted, uh, more people actually voted in 2016, which is 2,056,372 uh, more people actually voted. Now, that is very interesting because when we come to this year, 2021, 18 million people registered to vote, which means that 2,826,405 more voters registered to vote. And for that matter, what it means is that the, uh, the Electoral Commission says that the turnout was 10,359,479 people who turned out to vote according to their data. Now, when you get this figure and find the difference between 2021 and 2016 to get the number of how many more voters actually voted in this election, this is what is very, very heartbreaking, that only 30,000 348 more people actually voted. This is it. Because 2016 was 10,329,131 people voted, right? Here. In 2021, 10,359,479 people voted there. Ladies and gentlemen, how do you explain that? That just only 30,348 more people voted in 2021. Given the number of voters had increased by 2,826,405 voters, being the second number of the highest number of new voters since, 2000, since 2011. And the last, the last time we had such a high amount of people turning out to vote, we had over a million people turning out to vote. Sorry, we, have, we had over a million new votes that were cast. 
The last time we had a figure that is close to that, we had over 1.4 million people turning out to vote. And all this, you can see there was just 10 million. This is 10 million and this is 13 million. But here we had 18 million voters. Where are the votes? Where did the electoral commission get the results that they were reading? Because look, if there were 18 million voters, the list here would be 2 million more votes. Or 3 million more voters would have been uh, they uh, unaccounted for. 2 million or 3 million more voters. But you cannot tell me that only 30,348 more people voted. So between 2016 and 2021, you mean only 30,000 more people voted? Bobby Wine, of course, has been running a campaign telling people to get their national IDs, telling people to go and register to vote, telling people to turn out to vote and protect their vote. People have been excited to vote. People turned out in, long, in, in, in big numbers. This was confirmed by the chairman of the electoral commission that really the turnout was so, so big. Even Bobby Wine confirmed that the turnout was really big. Even people on ground ascertain and say that everyone voted on ground. Almost everyone voted. So many people voted. Where are the 3 million votes? Where are the votes? Because if you do not fabricate these results, we want to explain to us why is it that this is the lowest number of new voters that we have ever received in our elections. Number one, in comparison with having a very high number of registered voters. This is the very first time that we have had a low turnout in regards with the number of registered voters. What it also means is this is the lowest turnout of voters ever since we started almost having elections, percentage-wise. Because this was, uh, what, 57%? The lowest had been in 2011, uh, which was 59% in relation to the number of registered voters. So here, this is where we have the electoral commission. This is where we are exposing the electoral commission and their sham election. Only three theories can explain why we have such a figure. Number one, the electoral commission was not reading the figures that the number of, they were not reading the votes that were cast on the January the 14th, 2021. The figures that were being read were figures of 2016. That is why when they asked the Electoral Commission to tell them where are you getting these figures from, they had no explanation. They were only giving percentages and also giving cumulative figures, saying that Om7 now has 1 million, Bobby Wine now has 2 million, this one has 5 million, then Bobby Wine has 6 million. That is how they were computing their results. But they could not tell you, because Uganda doesn't have very many districts, we have 146 districts. They wouldn't say that, okay, Museveni has uh, 1 million votes, from such and such and such districts. They wouldn't mention that. They would only say that Museveni has one million votes. Why? They wouldn't say that Bobby Wine has these votes from such and such regions. No. Just like you can see that, okay, uh, you know, when results are coming in and you are, you, are re you are releasing batches, you are supposed to show that, okay, this batch comes from this region, this comes from this region. They did not explain that. Secondly, they were not explaining how they were receiving results with the internet blocked and blackout. No one was explaining how they were receiving these results. How did you receive the results? Tell us. That's what we want to know. So if you do not have all answers to all such kind of questions, what you do is you fabricate and concoct results. But the bad thing about mathematics is if at all you try to lie in maths, even anyone who has never gone to school or who has a failure in mathematics can always come out and see that things do not add up. Meaning that the people are in the electoral commission, they have a math problem, and that's why they cannot pull off a heist where they are trying to rig the victory of Honorable Robert Chagulani Sentam, the president-elect now. There is no way you can explain such kind of thing, that only 30,000 more people voted in 2021, and yet we, have all, we had all close to 3 million more people registering to vote. And only 30,000, meaning that out of the, the two, out of the 2.8 million people who registered to vote, the new voters, only 30,000 of those people registered. What are the odds? There's nothing that can explain this with the enthusiasm, with the lots of, you know, 
the enthusiasm that people had to go and cast their vote. Where are the votes? If you ask these questions to the electoral commission, they are going to run away. Everyone, they will be bouncing you and telling you, okay, no, you speak to this one, speak to that one, speak to this one, speak to that one. When they were asked to provide the districts, the, 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 the results from the districts and polling stations, they couldn't provide them. We shouldn't give them, we shouldn't give them breathing time. Because what they are going to do now is to go back and now start concocting results. And more contradictions are going to come out. That is what is going to happen because most of us are now following your figures. Whatever you put out there, we are following the figures. Because the things just don't add up at all. That is why you see whenever they were releasing these results, they were always contradicting themselves. The percentages were not matching. The votes were not matching. And so on and so forth. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the data there. Tell me what you think. If you have any questions uh, to explain about these issues, just drop it in the comments below and I will be able to explain to you. I will be letting you know about the updates that are coming on here and there. And then we shall see... Uh, what is happening and then uh, I'll, I'll be i'll be um i'll be i'll be informing you on the new updates because so much information is coming in and then uh we need to keep track but also let us not take our eye off these guys because when we close our eyes and not pay attention to most of the things that are going on that is when they are trying to cover their tracks we shouldn't let them cover their tracks we should make it we should make it hard for them to cover their tracks as well as fighting on other battlefronts let us ugandans should always should should should, should protect their victory the people people power uh, nup uh, and all the supporters of bobby wine we should stand up and protect our victory because the victory is being rigged and is being taken away from us so thank you very much for listening subscribe share the video i'll be coming back more i'll be coming back with more updates on what is going on